tailgate down in Miami where a controversial ruling cost the Dolphins a victory Sunday against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The replay clearly showed that Roethlisberger fumbled the football before he broke the goal line. Alma Francis recovered the ball and said that he heard white ball, white ball from the refs, which would signal that they ruled that the Miami had recovered. But no, they, they placed the ball back on the one yard line in possession with the Steelers. In the very next play, they kicked the field goal to win 23-22. Oh, that was very, what a way to lose, really. Um, it's a mess down in Miami. Um, there's a lot of allegations going on, according to, uh, apparently concerning the refs. They're saying now that three of the referees are from Pittsburgh when originally thought it was only one. And even the players on, like, following the loss were kind of basically signaling out the refs or the, or the ref that made the call was from Pittsburgh and, and criticizing them how they made no attempt whatsoever to determine who recovered the football when it was actually obvious to everybody else that the Dolphins had. But l let's get one thing straight. Yes, let's, we can blame the refs for this loss because, I mean, that should have been Dolphins football and that pretty much would have ended the football game. But it was the Dolphins' performance as a whole that led to this loss because not only was it that play, but they struggled immensely on offense. Um, Chad Henney could not convert on third or fourth down. He couldn't hit his open receivers. The run game struggled once again. The end, basically inside the 21-yard line, they were there four times and they couldn't score a touchdown. They had to settle for five Dan Carpenter field goals. The Dolphins' run defense, led by Carl Stansby and Channing Crowder, was actually outstanding on Sunday. Um, coming into the game, Rashard Mendenhall had rushed for 495 yards, and the Dolphins pretty much stopped him. Um, it's, the Dolphins are averaging, a, a, allowing an average of 100.8 yards uh, rushing per game, um, which is it's very good for them. They, and they, they forced two fumbles on Roethlisberger. should have been the third with that other one. But, you know, the defense, they couldn't do enough. There were uh, key moments. There are actually two key moments, one on special teams and one on defense, that happened um, right before that fumble that basically led to the Steelers getting down in that area in the first place. Mike Wallace returned the kickoff um, to the Dolphins' 48-yard line. Um, that was their third long uh, return of the day. We know that the Dolphins' special teams have struggled. They fired um, their previous special teams coordinator a few weeks ago, and it's not as bad as you know, the Patriots game. But things like that, that basically, that, that was one of the reasons it cost them the game. You cannot give up, you cannot let him run back 52 yards. It falls on the special teams as much as it will fall on the defense and the offense because all three phases, toward, even like through the entire game, they struggled and they failed. One of the critical plays on defense that came was just probably one of their worst moments of the game was when um, Mualdi Moore beat Chris Clemens um, on third and eight, and he basically gained 21 yards, and it brought them to the Dolphins' 14-yard line, which put them into field goal range right there and then. The one concerning factor about the Dolphins' offense is that they had not been able to eclipse the 30-point mark this season. Every AFC team has been able to do that this season, including the Buffalo Bills, who have done it twice, and they're pretty much... They're, they're winless. Um, so the Dolphins offense um, was kind of disappointed in Henny um, this game. He was making poor decisions. They were, they, were, they were successful in first and second down, but their inability to score touchdowns and have to settle for field goals was a major deciding factor, especially on the opening possession the Dolphins forced a Steelers fumble, and they got the ball within the 20-yard line, their own 20-yard, or sorry, the Steelers 20-yard line, and they had to settle for a field goal. They couldn't punch it in the end zone. You can't – Dan Carpenter, by the way, was amazing again with five field goals. He didn't miss one. Um, but you can't – when you have this many opportunities to score touchdowns, you have to take them. They could have had that, that's 35 points right there or, or at least 28 points for the four that they missed inside the 21-yard line. That's at least 28 points. You cannot give up those opportunities. The Dolphins travel to Cincinnati to play the Bengals on Sunday, and – this could be a trap game. Um, I think the Dolphins should beat them. Uh, Cincinnati um, came very close to beating Atlanta last week. And they've come close, but they have just kind of 
and the, towards the end of the game, they haven't been able to finish it to close out. The Dolphins need to get an early start. Their offense needs to click. They need to get their run game going, which has struggled the last few weeks. And they got to get their passing game going um, and get Devon Best, just keep him going because he scored a touchdown, I think, the last three, three or four games. Um, he's the, probably their most potent threat next to Marshall. And they're all, the offense needs to get going in this game because this, uh, the Bengals' defense is, I think, if they get a chance, they'll go after Henny, force, force mistakes. We can't have that. Um, on defense, um, Carson Palmer has struggled basically all season, as the entire team has. Um, the defense has been performing exceptionally, especially their run defense, and they're going to face a tough challenge in Cedric Benson. Um, but as long as the defense can keep the point, keep them from scoring, and keep and keep away the big play, I think they should be okay. I think they should. I think they're going to be able to get after Carson Palmer and force him to make mistakes. Like he basically has all season. I'm gonna go with the Dolphins to win this game. Um, basically, they're un they're winless at home and they're undefeated on the road. So, I mean, why wouldn't you go with the Dolphins on the road, um, especially against the Cincinnati team that has been struggling? This has been Alyssa with Dolphins Dish. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the game. Go Fins.